the most beautiful people in the room. I know, be careful. Um, there we go. I want to start off by saying what an honor it is. I know, I'm so sorry about the distance. What an honor it is to be able to be in y'all's presence again. Two of the most beautiful North Carolina women in the state. Um, well, say hi to, I'll let y'all reintroduce yourself. Hey, babies, we love you. Everybody that's watching on Diamond and Silk. Yes. Yes. We love you all. Okay, so listen, you all, this election is the most crucial election. Yeah. I think in the history of election, as far as yeah, I'm concerned. We have these Democrat socialists that's trying to take over our country. And I need you all to go grab your brother, your sister, your cousin, your friends. I don't care if they ain't your friend. And get them out to the polls. We want people to vote. Yeah. We want you to vote red, R-E-D. Remove every, every Democrat. Democrat. The only thing you can do that is by voting them out and voting yeah. in Republicans. Yeah. She's absolutely right. Okay? That's what we need. Make sure you do it. Go vote. All right. So y'all have some really exciting stuff going up. We have a new book coming out. Pre-order available right now. Would you mind telling the audience where they can pre-order that book and a little bit about a teaser, what they can expect inside of it? Okay, first of all, you can pre-order the book at diamondandsilkbook.com, you all. And listen, it's our story. But it also tells about the Democrat Party, how they betrayed us, especially black people. How they started a lot of this stuff with the Jim Crow and the KKK. How they were, they wanted to continue to keep slavery growing. So we're going to be explaining a lot of that in the book. It's an amazing book, and I want you to make sure you go pre-order at diamondandsilkbook.com. And we're also going to talk about the opportunities, how people try to exploit us and take advantage of us, and how they try to actually pay us to stop supporting Donald Trump. We're going to talk all about that. Yes, and so much more. More. So go get the book at diamondandsilkbook.com. And don't forget, we have a few chit chats coming up. So make sure you get your tickets at chitchattour.com. You, you took care of one of my questions, and I have one more. Um, so y'all were recently at the White House, along with a lot of other people celebrating Black History Month. We saw you with Terrence Williams and a number of other members of that community. Did you ever think that you would be in the Oval Office celebrating that with the President of the United States? And as a member of that community, what does it mean to you to be able to inspire so many women who look up to you? Wow. It means a lot. Yeah. We've been to the Oval Office several times, but I never thought we would be in the Cabinet Room sitting right next to the President of the United States. Yeah. It was an honor. You know, black people, some some black people, yeah. they go out in the streets and they march and they burn down their communities. Yeah. But I'm so happy that this president, who now we call him the first black president, yeah, that's right. gave black people a seat at the table, at the table to solve problems. Yeah. That is very important. And yeah. when you are invited to the White House, that is an honor, you go. And we went, and I'm telling you, I will never, ever, ever, ever forget that as long as I live, ever. I love our president. I love him because he look out for all Americans, especially black America. We didn't get left behind. You know, up under the last president, President Obama ran on hope and change. We was hoping some things was gonna change, but it looked like he done made out with a lot of change and all of us got short change. Cause now he's filthy rich. The reason why I love President Donald J. Trump, because he wants you to be rich. He wants you to prosperous. He wants you to have however much you want. That's why he removed the regulations and cut the red tapes and have and created 7.1 million jobs. He wants you to have something. And there's nothing wrong with capitalism. Free stuff does not equal freedom. We need more free thinkers, right. not freeloaders. Right. So, so the question should be, do you want free stuff or do you want freedom? Right. That should be the question. It was the Republican Party that freed the slaves. It was the Democrat Party that wanted to keep the slaves enslaved to their government. We don't want that. We don't want no Democrat to win. We don't want no socialist to win. People do not run from their country over here to the United States for more socialism. They come over here to uh, because they want to obtain the American dream. Right. And if we was born on this soil, we should be first partakers at the American dream. That's right. So make sure you get out and you vote. Vote right so we won't get left. And can I say one more thing? Everybody, I, somebody is upset because the president had a portrait of somebody hanging up, but that portrait was a slave owner. Here's my theory. Uh -huh. 
If you all don't, if the left, if you don't like Benjamin Franklin, uh -huh. if you don't like, uh, if you don't like, if you, if you don't like George Washington, well, I want to talk about the Benjamin. Okay, Hold on. Yeah. Benjamin. All right. All about the Benjamin. If you don't like the Republican Party, uh -huh. if you like, if you don't like Benjamin uh, Franklin, uh, freeing the slaves, uh -huh. uh, 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 the Republican Party representing freedom, uh -huh. then stop spending the Benjamin. That's right. And if you have a problem with any of our, any of our histories, uh -huh. hanging up on a wall. That's uh huh. Then stop spending the dollar bills that have a slave owner in your pocket. Stop it. That's what you need to do. Cause I get tired of them. They always pushing this racism stuff. What about the slave owner? It's part of history. And if you don't learn history, if you don't know history, it will repeat itself. So while they continue to play the race card, we're gonna continue to play the Trump card so we can win, win, and win and get those Benjamin babies. Final question. I just can't let you guys go. Okay, so we talked about what President Trump has done for lowering the unemployment in African American communities, but another great success is lowering the unemployment for women for tr women. And that brings me to this. Y'all are now on board Women for Trump. You'll be doing a bus tour throughout the United States. Can we get a little more info on that? Do you have any idea where you'll be stopping? Any big cities on the list? I know it's going to be Michigan, Pennsylvania. Ohio and we plan to have a good time you know we did the bus tour back in 2016 so this is uh, another moment of, of the yeah and so this is this is another moment you all listen there's a movement going on and there's an uprising going on people want something different people want something better and so it's going to be our great honor to tour again in this country with the women for Trump tour thank you ladies all right give one shout out to the diamond and silk viewers watching from y'all's channel back home Everybody on Diamond and Silk, we love you, our fans, our followers, those that love us, those that don't love us, those, those that don't love us, those that don't want to stand behind, beside us. I'm not asking you to stand beside us. No, no, no. I'm asking you to make sure you go stand in the voting line to make sure you vote for Donald J. Trump. That's what we're asking you to do. That's to the troll. And make sure that you donate to RSBN. Listen, this is our family right here. They've been with us since day one. Since day one. Make sure you stop what you're doing right now and go donate to RSBN so that they can stay right out here and then they can show you all the crowds. All right? Do that for Diamond and Silk. We love you all. We love, all. Oh, we love you, ladies. Thank you so much. You